What's up, everybody, man? It's Leo, man. I'm back again with another video. Hope everybody is staying safe. You know there's a hurricane coming in. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so stay safe, man. Make sure you got good food and water. Uh, if you know it floods by where you live, man, don't be afraid to move. But anyway, yeah, man, so let's get right into it, bro. Uh, the Texans, man, um, we had a good first win. I actually... Because I am kind of a pessimist, I picked them to lose this game. Pessimist and optimist. I mean, some people look at me looking at us about to lose as a bad thing. But, you know, I mean, I'm looking at the positive. The positive is I want the first pick, you know. But anyway, uh, yeah, so we won. And I think that is a good thing. You know, it shows that the leadership is there. It shows that um, regardless of what happened last year, the team – bought into whatever system Cully is preaching and you know they play well offense looked good defense looked very very good um three picks in one game I mean I hadn't seen that in a long time from us uh what else um yeah but let's just I just want to put some things in perspective because you know I still that win you know although like you know, I picked us to lose that game. That win in the grand scheme of things isn't – it doesn't tell you that much about the team. I looked at the stats right before making this video. Um, Trevor Lawrence, rookie quarterback, doesn't matter how high you are on this talent, doesn't matter how good you think he is going to be, doesn't matter if you think he's the next Peyton Manning, he is a rookie. Um, and they threw the ball 50 times. They threw the ball 50 times yesterday. And, you know – he didn't look that good, you know. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but, you know, same. they have a lot of the same problems as us when it comes to talent, offensive line problems, and so on and so forth. They only ran the ball, I think they ran the ball less than 20 times total, y'all. The biggest problem with our defense last year was we could not stop the run. And I'm saying this leading into my next week prediction, you know. Uh, but that being said, the defense did, they did play a good game, you know, um, shit, everybody looked good. You know, Lovey Smith obviously is a defensive guru, you know, regardless of what bullshit people say about him from time to time, you know, the defense looked good. I like that we're running a four, three and, you know, that is what it is. You know, like I said, we just need to continue to upgrade the, the person in the future, but you know. We have a different type of team coming in next week. We have the Browns coming in or we're going there, whatever. Um, you know, this is a team that would give us problems, you know. Uh, you know let's be real, y'all. They they do have they have the best run block and offensive line in the league last year, I believe. At least top three graded run block and offensive line. They have, you know, two good running backs, one, you know, one of the best running backs in the league and Nick Chubb. One of the best, um, you know, great blocking tight end and uh, Hooper, you know, another tight end that can get vertical, um, David and Joku. Uh, I don't know what's going on with Odell. Hopefully he plays just for him. Uh, you know, want to see him get back to form. Uh, who else? Jarvis Landry, they have a new speed threat, Anthony Shorts, who's like, you know, track speed, you know. Um, and Baker Mayfield, who, you know, a lot of people give shit, but I mean, man, he he played well last year and uh, he played good yesterday, you know. And uh, what else? I think he's gonna continue to play well and better. You know, he's very talented, especially in this, you know, in the play action scheme that they're running. Like, you know, this run first offense. He he's a great quarterback in that system. And then flip it over to their defense. You know. Um, we're not going against a defense that – well, not to slight Josh Allen because I love Josh Allen for the Jacksonville Jaguars, but we're playing against a team that has a very, very athletic defensive line. You know, um, I would like to see how we block them. You know, I want to see how we run block this week. We did great on the run game, which I was very happy to see. I want to see if they can block Miles Ga – well, I mean – I know this sounds ridiculous. I want to see if we can still run the ball on Miles Garrett and Jadavion Clowney and, you know, whoever else they have. They have very athletic linebackers. I think uh dude's name is Taki. Taki Taki, I think his name is. Uh, whatever. 
But, you know, very good linebacker. Um, they have uh, JOK, Ricky from Notre Dame. Who else? Um, I don't know if Delpit is playing. Uh, the, the safeties are decent. Um, very good corner in Denzel Ward. Rookie, um, Newsom, uh, and Greedy Williams. I don't know. Like, he was hurt last year. Blah, blah, blah. But they have a very athletic defense. This is not the same team that we just played against. So, for everyone, you know, that's super high off of this last one we have. Personally, I would be, you know, this win doesn't change how I look at the team, you know. I think that playing Cleveland coming off of a tough loss that, in my opinion, they should have beat uh, Kansas City last yesterday. You would think that with the run game they have, you know, it was over – like about a two possession game, they could not close the the game out, and you know they I guess they couldn't run the ball to finish the game, and you know Mahomes got hot at the end, you know, you know him and Tyreek Hill, and then uh, Kelsey came in big with a late TD. Whoo, excuse me, y'all. Um, yeah, man, uh, just a tough way to lose, um, but they lost, you know. I think that for them and that division that, you know, will be a tough division, you know, with Baltimore, you know, they're going to be competitive. Pittsburgh, regardless of what everybody thinks, if they can stay healthy, they will be competitive towards the end of the year with that defense and, um, you know, everything else they have. And the the Bengals are getting better. Um, they have enough talent to win at least a few games, make a few games challenging as long as they stay healthy, you know. So I'm thinking that they do not want to start 0-2. So we're going to get the best version of the Cleveland Browns that is possibly had up to now. You know, they're going to come in and play tough and um, physical, and they're going to run the ball. So this is going to be a very, very tough test for our defense, Um you know, me being a fan, I hope that they do well. But at the same time, I think that this would be a game that the fans get humbled. Everybody will get humbled. Um, you know, I, I'm predicting they win by two scores, you know, by 10 points, you know, um, at least. Um, just because of the matchup, I don't think it's a good matchup for us. We're not good against the run, and they run the ball. You know, they um, – and then on offense, we don't have the most talented squad ever. You know, we have – you know, Cooks is good. Pharaoh Brown. Pharaoh Brown um, really was impressive yesterday. Uh, he played very, very well. Um, uh, who else? Cooks had a great game, uh, too. But, you know, I just think that um, – it's just not a good matchup for us. And then their D-line, obviously, we have Tunsil, but, you know, everybody else is still has a lot to prove, you know. And I think uh, Miles, I can't remember what side Miles plays on. I think he's on the left side. So that means he will not be matched up with Tunsil. He will be matched up with Howard if he stays there for a lot of the time. I know they move him a lot, but, I mean, Miles is an animal, y'all. I don't – I mean, Howard has potential, but, I mean, you know, that's a tough matchup for anybody, for the top tackles in the league, you know. We'll see. Um, like I said, I'm picking them to go 10, 10 to win by 10 points. I think this will, you know, be – I don't I, – I can't remember the schedule, but I think this will be a game. I'm not saying that we're going to start sliding right now, but I do think that we will lose this game specifically – just because of what's in it for them. They don't want to start off 0-2. They're a better team than 0-2. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, I don't think the players and the coaches are, are you know, you know, are that gassed up by the win. But I think that the fans are. So, you know, it just is what it is. I, I believe that, you know, we, th- that the first win that showed potential, I really liked how the offense looked, y'all. I like that it was kind of a a lot of the sets did remind me of what uh, they ran in Baltimore, but I thought that the passing game was a little bit more uh, evolved than what, um, you know, they run in Baltimore or what we're running in Baltimore. The quick game was there. 
uh, the quick game was very, very interesting. I, I, I had fun watching that. Um, what else? Run game was good. Um, yeah, run game was good. Tyrod Taylor, y'all. Let me know what y'all think about Tyrod Taylor. I thought he played a great game. Uh, he, he Man, he was making his plays, you know. I mean, I don't want to say it was Deshaun Watson level, but he definitely made some – he made something out of nothing a few times, you know. So, yeah, man, let me know what y'all are thinking, man. Please like, sub, and share. Uh, go Texans.